Hi my friends, today we model this part which has uh, some uh, interesting holes here which are not striped but they are as you can see as a coil the drawing is right here we see dimensions and definition for the coil pitch 98 height 49 we have a bonus here you will see it at the end of this tutorial good let's start with the first sketch first volume and the model new standard millimeters and we start with the sketch for the cylinder by drawing lines here up left also up somewhere here and close this line must be placed on the center line yes then I project the the axis y as a center line axis y dimensions from the drawing 12 diameters of 15 10 58 and 49 we apply these dimensions 49 49 is this 49 15 10 excuse me uh, is not important but I respect I select lines not midpoints because I want to have parallelism here always and this is 12 diameter overall is 58 good fully constrained finish sketch revolve okay we have the first volume now we take a look at the dimensions here and we see diameter of 13 in this plane and this frontal plane yes a circle on the superior face diameter of 13 five coils with a pitch and a height equidistant five around the center the axis okay let's work for this we start with the sketch of the circle this face sketch x is to the right circle diameter of 13 on the same horizontal not vertical with a center point And the distance between the two centers 
of 36 divided by 2. 36 divided by 2. Where is this 36? On the drawing. This is the diameter of the centers. Good. Finished sketch. This is the base for the coil. And the coil itself is not a big deal. Coil. Select profiles. This is the profile. And I didn't place an axis here. You see? I cannot select Y. I can. Oh, very good. I thought I can. Then I select pitch and height because these are our dimensions on the drawing. Not pitch and revolution, not revolution and height, not spiral, but pitch and height. The pitch is 98 as written in that uh, drawing and height of 49 exactly the same with the uh, height of this cylinder. Okay, with cut. Be careful with cut, not join. Okay, what do we see now? We see this nice coil as uh, a new feature on this part. We apply circular pattern for what? For the last feature we select the axis the axis is of the cylinder and we write here 5 not 6. Okay. Good. There are some chamfers. 145, 145, 145, and the last one is this one. 3 on this face. Keep in mind this face, not this face. 3 and 30 degrees. Let's apply them. This is, uh, as I said, 1 at 45. 1. And this is also 1. And this is also 1. Apply. This one is other kind with the distance and angle. I have to select the face. This is the face and the edge. This is the edge and I apply three here on this face with the 30 degrees, not 45. You see? This is the uh, solution. Okay. Material is uh, stainless steel. Stainless steel And we are interested in uh, verifying the volume. Update. Copy. Close. Drawing. Double click. And paste. Write the same, yes? Good. Now I give you a bonus. I think that 
you do realize that such processing with these uh, coils can only be done with 3D printing or electrical discharge processing or machining EDM. Am I right? Yes, I am right. But if you don't have a 3D printing machine or a EDM machine, what can you do? You can split the part in two. An external one and an internal one. Oh, professor, and how can we do this? We can do this by splitting the part. Yes? We have dimension here, diameter of 36 in the mid, in the centers of these uh, uh, circles. And we select the same plane we chose before at the beginning to create a new sketch. F7 to see inside. And now I draw a simple line from this face to this face, a vertical line. I project also as a center line the axis Y. I place and I disable this. I place the diameter of 36. For this line. And one dimension is uh, needed. One dimension, one end of this. Of course. This end, not. This end, yes. I project as a construction this upper face. I disable construction and I cut, I trim this end line. Finished sketch. I apply revolve. I select surface mode I select the line the axis is also selected automatically okay now we have here a cylinder inside the part placed in the middle of that uh, centers in the centers of that circles and we apply split. Split. What is the tool for split? The tool is this surface. And we optate to keep both solids. Not the first, not the second. Both. Okay. I hide the revolution surface height, visibility, and now we see a very thin line here, which is the separation, my friends. Good. <laughs> and now the question is, how can I make these two solids? We have here two solids, yes? Solid one and solid two. One is outside, the other is inside. Let's give them names. This is bushing and the other is inner body. Inner body. To have uh, names for them. I want to create a part to be 
bushing and other part to be the inner body. How can I do? I was asked by one of you, my friends, about this problem. This is why I uh, want to show you how to do. The solution is to use from the tab manage uh, this tool make components yes we select this but before we have to save the part and this uh, shape and uh, state save as part 5 yes and we disable this uh, option to insert components in the target assembly we select what is the first part and I select the bushing next I give it the name bushing you see it has this name because I named uh, uh, the first uh, body to be to have this name and okay okay then the same uh, procedure for the inside or inner body which you see it was selected I disable once again uh, this option next and inner body underscore one is the name of the new part okay now you will find this uh, two parts in uh, your uh, directory or folder and you can use them to create an assembly we can uh, make uh, some <laughs> operations by using uh, uh, this move bodies for instance I select this I don't want to move it in the direction of X I place here 0 I want to move it on the direction of Y for instance 20 millimeters okay now you see we have uh, that uh, new situation we can uh, machine uh, the both objects by using uh, traditional uh, tools yes okay that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye